Maria Sakri versus Arena Sabalenka is the first semi-final for the ladies event in Madrid for 2023. And both ladies have to fight their way to get to this stage. Sakri entered the tournament as the number nine seed, and we're gonna buy in the first round. In the second round, she'll take on the qualifier Ruse. This is no problem for Sakri. Getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. In the third round, she'll take on the wild card Masarova, who had just taken out Vekic in the previous round. And after dropping the first set, Sakri would have to fight back to win. 3-6, 6-3, 6-3 to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she'll take on Bedosa the number 26 seed who just demolished Coco Goff in the previous round. But Zachary looked amazing, serving extremely well and getting through in straight sets 6-4, 6-4 to make it to her first quarterfinal in Madrid. In the quarterfinals, Zachary would take on the number 31 seed Bagu, who had been very fortunate thanks to the withdrawal from Jabur to get to this stage, who had been very impressive to get to this stage. And after a very long first two sets, Zachary would outlast Bagu 6-7, 6-4, 6-2 to get to the semifinals. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number two seed Seed. We're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Castella, who had actually beaten her earlier in the year in Miami. But Sabalenka got her revenge, getting through in straight sets, 6 4, 6 3. In the third round, she'd take on the wildcard Osorio, who had had some solid wins to get to this stage. This was no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straight sets, 6 4, 7 5. In the fourth round, she'd take on another wildcard, the teen sensation Andreva, who had taken out Adaj Maya and Lynette to get to the stage. And after a close first set, experience showed and prevailed. Sabalenka winning 6-3, 6-1 to get to another Madrid quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on the unseated Sharif, who had been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals. And after dropping the first set, Sabalenka would have to fight back to win 2-6, 6-2, 6-1 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played eight times before, with Sabalenka leading 5-3 in the head-to-head, -head, but they've never played on a clay court. However, Sabalenka did win their last match at Indian Wells in the semifinals there only a couple of months ago. If Zachary's going to win this one, she needs to play a little more aggressive than she did against Bagu. She played really well against Bedosa a couple of days ago with that aggressive game. Against Bagu, she kind of took a step back and tried to rally a lot longer. It ended up working in the end, but she needs to play more aggressive because Sabalenka is going to attack her if she doesn't. Sabalenka is going to win this one. She needs to get off to a much better start than she did against Sharif. Against Sharif, she was hitting so many errors in that first set. She needs to make sure she keeps it cool as well. She did manage to turn it around in the second set, mainly thanks to Sharif, but let's see if Sabalenka can keep her cool and get off to a better start. This is such a blockbuster matchup. A top 10 clash in one of the biggest tournaments in the world. A semi-final in the Madrid. This is going to be really fun. I'm going to go with Sabalenka to win this one in three. I think we're going to have an absolute epic. We've already had two epic matches in the quarterfinals to this stage from both these ladies. So let's see if they can both put on a show and make the final. But let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win.